Okay, well today I just ha stumbled upon the wholesale area for cameras. Now if I was really brave, I'd try to get a camera here. But I don't trust them. Maybe I'll take a look for shits and giggles. Because the camera that I was looking at in the US, I mean the really good ones run from anywhere from $800 up to $4,000 for action cameras, you know, video cameras. Wow, look at these beasts, huh? Look like a film crew for crying out loud. Yeah, if I, back when it was Hello Tinting, this is what I was going to do is, you know, Ting Ting was going to be the, the star, the, you know, the, the host. And I was going to be the behind the scenes person and I'd be carrying the gear and I'd be the sound and video person. But and that's not the way it turned out to be. So I reluctantly said, well, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to have to do it. Now this Nikon, I have their cool picks. But they don't hold up well. If you're not, if you're just walking around most of the time, cool picks is okay. I think the newer ones might do 1080. The bigger ones, the the one I had was 720. So I'm gonna look at the Sony here, just for see what they have. The guy in there does not speak English, but there was a very pretty girl there who came in after me, behind me, and I was asking the guy if they were real or fake. If you're going to be in China for a while, then obviously you might be able to establish a rapport with somebody and get real equipment. The problem is, is if you're just hitting and if you go into these stores, that's the guy who was trying to talk to me. If you go into these stores, number one, it's different models in Asia than they have in America. So it will be completely different model numbers. So I would have to look up online and see what that version of that camera is to the equivalent in America. Number two, if you have any problems, they're not going to service this in the United States because I had that issue with my Nikon that I bought in Japan. Number three, if they give you a fake, if you can take this thing apart and look inside and determine that this is real or this is not real, some of these uh, imitations today in China I was watching a program on the fake uh, Rolexes now, and even the experts can't, with their eye, determine if it's a fake or if it's the real deal. They actually have to get a microscope or a very good eye loop to be able to determine to be able to determine if it's a uh, a real Rolex or not. So. The price is also, like a couple of these cameras, they were $2,000. I have a feeling that these prices are not any better than what you're going to find in the United States. So the United States typically is some of the cheapest prices in the world for electronics. That's my experience. And the only time that I've ever bought electronics outside the U.S. is when I have to get an emergency replacement. So, all right. But... You know, if you're into this stuff and you know exactly what you want, I suppose it couldn't hurt to go in and take a look. I just don't want to spend the time doing this because I would not feel comfortable buying anything here. Because if you go back to the U.S. and you have a problem, you know, you're SOL. So you're going to spend $2,000 on a Chinese camera or what they say is a real camera and you find out that it's not. And you can't even get it serviced. See, there's another Sony over there. So, I was looking for a particular model. That store I just went into, they didn't even have anything that looked like the camera I was interested in. So I'll just do a walk-by on this one since it's still kind of on the way. So this is the AX700. This is the price right here, Chien? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You on? Yep. So 12,000, that's roughly uh, almost two grand because 
6400 is a thousand bucks because in America that camera 4k the camera that's a thousand dollar camera in the United States